Hmm. Ah, welcome back, welcome back to the stream, my friends. So I finished up Tropico, so I'm probably gonna do a little bit of Endless Space 2 today. Um, if you guys haven't no haven't heard about this game, it is right above my head there. It is an alpha. It's open to the public for a while. And I've been playing quite a bit of it lately. I do like a style of it. I was a big fan of the uh, first Endless Space and Endless series. So <sighs> Uh, let's just get into it. I'll probably explain best as I get into it. There's mod, uh, there's gonna be a big old modding community added on to this. Let's do a new game. I played around with this quite a bit, so I know a little bit what's going on. So, last person I was playing with was the United Empire. Let's go to the factions for just a little bit. So, United Empire is the latest one of the factions to join, so I'm gonna play them to get today. Uh, but we have the Sophons. Uh, here they're kind of the big old uh, tech advanced groups they have um, their faction trait here allows them to know exactly what research other empires have focused on uh, they gain science bonus, bonus for the next uh, essentially if no one else has researched this technology they get a bonus to having it so they're the first and most advanced ones um, so on to self the people uh, having so on on your planet each individual person gives you an, an additional one science per turn. Three added on there if it's on a cold planet. So naturally their starting planet is probably going to be cold. Uh, and their natural political opinion is going to be science. So, this is a new game by the way guys, so if you're looking to know how the voice and the volume of the game comes out too. So, um, the Pathfinder, so careful navigation, their ships are faster, and their people are a little bit uh, weaker on the island. Reavers, these are your war guys. So they're slave drivers, so they have minus 10 initial relationship with everybody. Um, nobody likes slave drivers. Um, now, nice treat for the Cravers is they need rapid expansion because they will actually eat the planet dry when we're playing with them. Uh, they're natural militarists. We go on them, any two other populations will just consume the planet's resources until. Afterwards, the planet has a penalty, I'm not sure what they have it right now. They can build uh, larger fleets, and the fleet maintenance costs is significantly reduced for them. Um, more of them on a planet, so it kind of goes better with their abilities to need to just consume the planet. Eternal War, they are always, uh, since they have aggressive being to focus on their nations, if the most of the state. We'll look into faction politics later as well. Or not, that is politics, is um, and they have increased, uh, their, their ground troops are just 10% more effective when, um, defending. Yeah. Leaving their cause gives the faction in particular zeal when they're defending on the ground. Okay. So, when they get attacked, they have, their ground forces are much better. Um, these guys, the, uh, Voldiani, uh, I mean, I'm terrible with names, by the way, so you guys, you guys will learn that very, very rapidly with me, I'm so, I apologize. Do correct me in the chat, though. You guys think a better way of saying them. Um, these guys are ship bound. So they don't really settle on any island or on any planet. Essentially, they consume population and resources to build themselves. They are like supernatural, like think Superman on each planet, and they have to consume other people to make each Superman. Um, so they have to be on these arcs that are anchored to them, and these arcs can pull up and go park in other planets, and these are their connection to the planets. And these arcs are super ships early game, you can't, you can't really fight them without like a major, major military force, so they're pretty safe early game. But late game, that safety turns into a pretty big vulnerability. I've gone to some planets early game, and this game changes all the time, so I'll, like, I, I may be wrong on these by now. But, uh, late game, you just go in and you just keep blowing up their ships, and they can't hide on the planet. So you never really fight these guys on the planet that they're defending because they're in their own ships. Um, actually, for them, each other people, um, instead of growing population for the planet, they grow it in the ships. So the ships have a certain population, but each one of these guys do really well, as you see here. So they have a 50% growth penalty just because they have to consume more resources to make themselves bigger. But each one of these guys gives a plus four to food, reduction, dust, and science. And their dust is pretty much your goal in this game. Uh, Pierce Warriors, 20% bonus to defense, to 
thing now. This is still if you change the thing now to pick up the people around. Uh faster ships. And their heroes are uh, much better. Their heroes can train uh, much more rapidly, I'll get to that once we get to the game. The Maris guys, these guys are planet brokers. Uh, they like building uh, businesses, they can, uh, they can purchase plants and create power codes without using colonization ships. So, every other faction has to make a colonization ship, send it out, and essentially beam down the planets so I can them up. These guys, they just buy the planets. So, by, di by diplomatic means, opposing the exchange of other planets for empire like this. Buy a planet, build it up, and then sell it off to other nations, if you want. Um, naturally, as well, they're pacifists. They don't, they don't want war. So each one of their people will gain plus one dust for each one of them, and plus five dust from being in the water. Uh, they can also ignore, um, for instance, no pay to you with other factions. Oh, that's that changed. So now, if you're at war, I guess you have um, penalties of people. So okay, before they could just maneuver through your um, like defensive blockades. You like set up a blockade in the system, and no one can get it in and out of that blockade for a turn. So they had to defeat your ships. Now I guess they changed that for these guys. Optimus, these guys are naturally happy. Plus 20% approval on systems, and plus two maximum probes on exploration. So we'll get to that again. But today we're gonna be playing as the United Empire. Um, our traits for today, we have the Emperor's Will. So each one of our people, or actually that's not the we gain uh, influence, that's Purple Star's influence, for factory increase or like for production spent. So, and that's becomes really key important for our uh, people because we can spend. I guess I didn't say that there, but our um, our trait is we can spend our influence to rapidly research. Um, well, research we can spend it to make ships, buildings, improvements, and that's uh, the biggest key thing for us. Also, the more influence you have, the bigger your sector. Um, I'll I'll get in the game. And remember what it's called. It's been a little bit since I played this, but. Um, so, yeah, also, our guys, they're Terrans, but, um, and because they're not called Terrans, I'm guessing there's going to be another Terran faction in this game. So, we get plus one influence for each one of our people on a planet, plus one for a temperate, and naturally we're industrialists. Uh, we get plus one production for a person on the planet. Uh, we can reduce over-colonization over penalty on the Empire, and we have 25% maximum Empire for our patrons. So let's get the game, and I'll explain how I'm doing. I'll take off one of these guys, I'll take off the Marians, uh, just because the game has a little bit more sluggish on it. Let's look over three, we'll do the Cyclons, the uh, Vodniani, and the United Empire for now. Spiral. Medium size, medium constellations, normal speed. Uh, I did the hard difficulty earlier, but just for the sake of this, I'm talking to myself on this normal. Because infections aren't in the game yet, I'm looking forward to making some of those later on. And let's just start. So, I'm talking about this time, make sure my uh, things. Okay, okay, we're, we're back. So. Just make, making sure my, my monitor to the left just went up, went out there, so I'm just making sure we're still in the game. Because that would have been awkward. Under the visionary leadership of Emperor Zelovus, we have become a proud and powerful nation. It is time to rise up, grasp our future, and seek our destiny among the stars. Imagine the future that we can build. We shall construct great fleets. Send them out to make great discoveries. And through their conquests, secure our place in this rich galaxy. We will discover new sciences and new life. We will greet new peoples and turn them into new patriots. Together, we shall leave our mark on history. For together, we can become anything our hearts desire. 
whatever the cost, whatever the effort, let us not shy away from the greatness that is our birthright. Super Tropico there after that. So we're starting in the hat system here. So first off, uh, we are the Federation Nations of uh, Shadow, just the name I have on Steam there. I'll have to change that eventually. We are United, Emp United Empire. The Empire is theoretically under the control of a central monarchy. However, the rate of expansion means that the society cannot be ruled that way efficiently, effectively. In fact, the systems of the colonized this Sparia are colonized by designated corporations who work hand in hand with the Ministry of Investment and Development. The Ministry of Security is involved as well due to the need for native and or alien pacification, security forces, defense, and surveillance. So, there are four fi or six victory types here, only two are in progress right now. Um, Emperor Emperor's will. The voice of the Emperor is a powerful thing. He is influenced by technologies, constructions, and items in the marketplace. Generate influence for each construction. And we're passing these humanoids, although they tend to prefer economic and military development, which we are work on. Humanoid workers, just one of these ones for you guys. Right now our empire is content. This guy starts off at 50. Current number of control systems over the threshold. So we can control five systems right now before um, our approval starts going down. Now we have a lower effect on that because of our expansion, so we can expand a little worse for emphasis. We need to expand a, bit, a lot more than other people right now. Our political party, we are a federation. That's what gives us um, another 25% reduction on all our systems. And you see here another 10% uh, reduced on the overcolonization penalty. Uh, our Senate breakdown right now we have 67% industrialists, 33% militarists. Uh, this will decrease and change based upon the uh, buildings we make, the actions we make, the conflict. So you don't want to do everything. You don't want to go too much and you have to watch what you do because we'll go with the factions later on, but there are environmentalists, there are um, militarists, industrialists, scientists, and that's it. Yeah, pacifists. Pacifists is the other one. And we do too much of that one thing, we're going to have more in the Senate being affected by that, which will affect all the other things we can do. So right now, our political parties, we have the industrialists have a powerful influence in there, which uh, which gets the laws over here, and the militarists have a moderate support. So for the laws over here, we have the dust windfall being active right now. So 25% of industry set for building systems is converted into dust at the end of it. So we're getting, so the more we build, Doing through the industry, the more inputs and dust we get. Um, now, new law we can do is if we have a new colony, we get 25% approval for five turns when acquiring a new colony by invasion or through competition. Uh, we need only mineral support to do that and 50 get influence. Um, we get a plus three dust per person on planets with minus one uh, approval for that. Plus 50%. Production on all systems. I'm gonna probably rush this as soon as possible because that's just great to go off of. That completely goes with everything else we do. Really, we need broad support to do this. Uh, fleet costs are nice when we're kind of going to war. So minus 25% uh, production costs on ships. Minimal support for that. Is another system. I another law I enjoy having. Plus 25 system approval for just having one ship in orbit and. More approval will give us more dust, uh, more uh, production, more food, food, I think. I'll have to go through this. This game is still an early alpha, so it does change a lot. Uh, so let's change that out a little bit. Uh, trade will go over later on. Research. Uh, now, research is kind of a tricky thing, because right now, we're only in the first era. We have two out of ten right now, so we have spacefaring right now, which is the basic research that everyone has access to off the get-go, and because of our uh, empire, we have access to interspecies human resources off the get-go. Now, unlike other games you guys may have played, 
the science cost isn't reduced when we go down to here and, we, and like this is advanced culture and we just want to go back and learn these. The science cost automatically for new technologies is a set increase all the time. So we're going to learn 10 technologies here and then move on to this one. There's like the second era. And we could theoretically keep working on here, but these overall are typically not as good as the ones in here. And we're going to move on without having to learn all of the technologies. Um, I believe you can trade for technology. I don't know if they still have that access center. We'll to play, find some other factions in the game and uh, kill them, hunt them, trade with them, see how that goes. Uh, the trade, uh, I mean, the science only goes up to the fourth era, a uh, fifth. We have no idea what's going to be there, as well as um, later on down the road, I assume they're going to have deeds um, that have not been opened up yet. And these are essentially who does the best military first, who does the most buildings, yada yada yada. And those will make one time deeds available to whichever empire gets them first. But we haven't got to access them yet. So, what I'm going to do off the get go uh, for us is because uh, these are also uh, divided into four areas, so this will give us more uh, population, diplomacy, uh, food influence. This will give us science, colonization, uh, we'll get more military def uh, technology here, and this gives us growth with the uh, dust industry, etc. And they're the same throughout all of these going forward. And I'll take a, I'm going to come back and look at this once I look at the planet we have right now. You'll see right here that this is our military information. We have a standard settler and patrol. These can be adjusted and changed if we roll. Uh, we go. We have our two ships right now. We have a first alien force, second alien force. Uh, this is a patrol boat, which is our exploration class. You can see down there the moving parts of it. And then this is our settler ship. Going down. Uh, each one of these has their own co upkeep keep and cost. Uh, the base empire manpower. Empire manpower. Uh, so, uh, 375, we're getting five more every turn, and no ships are needing to use this. We see manpower here, we have about 40 out of 40, 320 ships. If we invade another another system, we can invade ourselves, we will use this manpower. Also see our troop breakdown here. So here are our troops we have access to. Right now we only have infantry. Uh, later on down the road we'll get armor and air, and these guys kind of counter each other a little bit. The infantry, uh, they're, they can get, they're better against air, but the air does a lot more damage, so the air units cost about 30 to maintain here, versus 5 for the infantry, armor, etc, etc, and then you can pay uh, manpower to have better troops down the road. So you'll see, we also need rare resources like titanium and hyperium down the road for that, I think it's a, like a continual input we do for that. Uh, now, here is our heroes. These heroes are um, the main runners of like the game. These are the main storytellers, essentially. So, these guys come from a place known as the Academy. The Academy is somewhere in the galaxy. No one knows where it is yet. And based upon what actions we take with our empire, we'll increase the chances of getting certain kinds of heroes. So, we have Seekers, which are known for exploration and science. We have Guardians, which is Warfare and, and Industrialization, which is kind of overwhelming right now. We have Overseers, which are more resources and fleet development. And Counselors, which is what this guy right here is. He focuses on uh, empire rate resources and diplomacy. And diplomacy. We know how good I am with that. And the Academy is somewhere out there. We want to find this because he who owns the Academy gets a massive bonus to the experience these heroes get in return. So there's only three heroes in the galaxy right now because we have three empires and they start with these heroes. Um, so our hero is a senator. He's the acting lead in this game because he's an industrialist and he's the highest level. So we can trade out our senator there. He's Terran, which is our race, which shows the skills he will learn and a counselor. So let's look at what he does. Here's his ship, which we'll go over a little bit later on. Um, his skills, as you see here, he has... Uh, his branch is just for about all heroes to get access to. He's a counselor, so he gets access right away, plus 5 damage if he's on like a fleet, plus 10 dust per system. Dry plants get a bonus to this as well. Science, uh, reduction, more influence. 
goes, that goes off, quick vision, and system happiness. Over here we have a uh, uh, person, we have uh, conducted for missile get, and kinetic damage on weapons, uh, more manpower, reduction for system. Uh, deposit value increases the amount of um, unique resources we can gain per turn. Uh, this guy will give us an additional one for that. Do more damage on systems. And then a flat 1% for hero level on systems. All systems, at least. Political leader, plus one production for hero level on systems. So, yes, I'm assuming all of them. Over here, we have plus one for turn on fleets. Um, one for one. One production for the first planet. Five approval. More manpower, more 50 damage on this ship, yes, okay. Um, some durations, we can move around a lot more, we cost less. And, just ancestral outlook, so he, what's it did here, he costs nothing to maintain. So, but he's level 1 right now, so he has no skills, so we can be on, we're going to assign him to our own system, right now. And then once we go to our system here, see he's our governor. So right now, we remember what I said we're going to see about our uh, technology? So I see an ice planet and a gas frozen planet. So, water rich world, gas rich world. So let's go to our research real quick because I want to see how rapidly I can expand. So I see over here, snow, steeps, swamp, jungle. So I'm looking, snow, steeps, jungle, swamps. So I'll go back here, uh, no, this is an ice planet, and I think down the road, unless I'm just being blatantly confused, arid, desert, ocean, arctic, yeah, arctic type planets, yeah, so once we get to there, we'll have to look at these, lava, ash, barren, uh, I'm calling this ice, oh, wow, so it's, a unique ice one is way on down here, and I think Gas one. Is that down here the fourth one? Science, psyops, battlefield arc. Calling gas sign. So the system we have right now, we have, to, we have to go all the way down to get uh, terraforming to get to get all the way down here. So our home system is a bit niche for now, unfortunately. So now you'll see this building I I have down here. The political impact down at the bottom there is the influence. Like the political impact that the industrials are going to get. Um, the influence gained down the bottom there is how much we gain as a society based upon uh, just us, because we gain influence off of all um, science and uh, industry going off there. So, researching this will allow us to build this unique system improvement and get more impact with the industrialists, which we want to maintain. Um, I find early on. Getting bunkers is nice with, for your militaries if you want to go for that route. I don't know yet. Uh, right now, war is kind of the only way to win, but we're not really going to play till the end of it. We're going to play until we get satisfied enough of this because it's still early alpha. There's a lot more to learn and get off of this. So, for now, uh, I don't care about diplomacy with minor factions. We're just going to stimulate them. Uh, Academy allows more heroes to be unlocked. Uh, let's go with the National Museum for now because we want to just focus on influence right away. Okay, hold on. Let me just reset my second monitor there. It's the next thing on my uh, list for doing this. So, Also, you'll see on here all these question marks. These are... Uh, I click on it. It's like a search to do this, but these are their own unique uh, surveys and expeditions that will give us either resources or wealth or their own unique uh, gifts, bones, bound, bounties, whatever you want to do off them, based upon um, what what they give us. So it could be a rare mineral, but when we work on this, we can mine it. Um, it could also be a um, like like a one-time gift of dust or gold or something. Or dust and gold are, are too pretty synchronous, so I'm going to see that a lot switching over there. So I apologize. So for now, let's just give get a basic drone network going on right now. For our own colony and spin project is what I'll do after that, just so we can get more influence. So please, 
political stand with religious, so I do have to watch for that because we don't. Religious is the other, the other community we have. I forgot about that. We don't do too much with them because we don't want them getting too much influence undoing the laws we have enacted. Like I said, I'm gonna be trying to rush to do the 50% bonus to our production just because of the huge movement to get off that. Now, our patrol ship can automatically uh, send out their little drone, so we're gonna do that. Now, every time we do this, we do get a uh, boost for political, for, like, political impact with the scientists. So I do need to be a little careful to launch for that. But let's send up one off. So, we're successful. And we gain Dark Litter resource deposit. And we gain plus 5 of the Dark Litter moves. Uh, now, when we have this on a system, we get plus 50 maximum manpower stock on the system when we do this. And it is kind of a limited time resource we can do later on. We'll look at that later when we get to that. Another one over here. And we gained Hyperium. Hyperium is a main resource we'll be using all throughout the early game. Uh, even late game, it doesn't have its base uses, but we'll work on those as well. Now, we gained five of it for having it. You just see up here the five Hyperium. And when we mine this place way on down the road, we'll gain it. Now, look at this place. This place has no food, no production, no dust, no influence, but 27 production when we get access to the place. Um, one more other thing we have right now is because we have our uh, our Terran, Terran people on here, we're gaining plus one influence for just them being there, plus another one because it is a temperate planet. We also have at our disposal, we have the, uh, this, so, this, this, this shield, um, wait, this shield, I think. Um, these guys are kind of the aliens who we've either integrated or acquired or however you want to, however the story you want to make for this is put into it. So, aggressive and more impartial, they are known for their willingness to defend their honor and their allies. So, we have plus five maximum manpower per turn for having these guys around. So, okay. so basically what I'm doing, I like telling a story when I play these games. So. We're starting off as industrialists, and then once we build it up enough, we learn we need to expand to this galaxy, but it's a big galaxy, there's danger out there. So we're gonna have we're gonna start building up, start exploring the galaxy, and then we're gonna try to see what our options are right now for kind of the world going out there. Um, now our patrol boat did spend all of its move to uh, do the exploration, so we're gonna have our settler ship travel out and explore the galaxy for us. Now, this red influence you see, like this red area around us, that will increase based upon the influence. And because we're rushing that because of our empire unique traits, but if it's good off of that, that's just going to expand much more rapidly than all the other factions because of how much we're focusing on it. And the influence will get us more opportunities for exploration and unique events as well as information. So, all of this, I don't know what's going on out there. You'll see, like, the kind of fog of war. Like, Litter, the particles of war getting eroded and being you know, like cleaned away because of the radar we have around our ships. And we want more information because we want to know what's going on out there. So we now have access to the uh, dark litter, which we can use our economic screen when we unlock that. We have uh, Dimitri Lun Lunko, our empire, and tell us your, our duty, your imperial majesty. It is a time of great peace and prosperity for the Empire. The usurpers have been vanquished. Disagreements resolved. The war is ended. The Empire is truly united. Now is the time for our great nation to forge a path to the stars, to bring our great civilization to other worlds, to impress upon any other race we discover that our way is the best way. Done? Okay. Move on. So our influence is already growing a little bit around there. It will slow down because we only gain so much based upon the area. But each turn should grow a little bit. Now we have two turns left on our drone network. Um, we have three population right now. Our evolution tread you see right there is plus 42. So um, with the evolutionary tread, it's the 42 is going to add to the current stock we have at that time. And once it reaches 300, we'll gain more population going forward. So. The early game is going to be a lot of just me pushing the move forward button and it'll slow on down the road. Now, look on, well, you see, so we have found this system. Uh, huge gas, two moon anomaly, uh, outstanding on the science. Another, more moons, outstanding on the dust. 
<laughs> Another gas. We've got the like, gas giants over here where this is. Uh, and hospitable. Uh, standing up production. And pretty balanced, but high on the. So we have found nothing but a gas area. I have never seen that. Yeah, gas, gas, gas. That's a terrible, terrible place. I mean, good later on, much later on down the road, but for now, that's super inhospitable. We're not gonna find anything in there. So I just have to move on, unfortunately, to the next area. Now it is an end node, so nothing's gonna invade us from this way. I do want to set up and roll blocks and areas, to make sure no one else can bother us when we get down there. Um, we do have a cooldown on our probe, so I'm just gonna see if sending these off every turn. Uh, another one going up here. And oh, our shit did. Our shit did. We failed. We did not find anything on here. There's a slight chance of failure. I don't know what it is. But we can just not find anything, which is kind of a con of looking because you do get a bonus to finding stuff later on. So it depends on what you're really gonna do. If you really like a place or a system that you're constructing, you probably wanna hold off on it. I'm just thinking rapidly right now because these are really places where we've been working for a long time. So we finished our drone networks, so we're gonna have uh, five more production and five more food for this system. Uh, for how it's being worked. Now, uh, it's not so it is the system overall, so uh, we don't have to construct it for every single one of these areas. It's a system overall that has it now. Now we're gonna work on some project for this place specifically. As I said before, I went to rush to get that production boost. Afterwards, um, I don't know if I want to do the our one-time university here on our home planet. It might be better doing it somewhere else because we're not gonna be working on these places for a while. I will try to. Uh, I do want to settle fairly rapidly because of our unique rooms we get for our empire. So let's move our settle city to here. Okay, like I mentioned before, over here we have. Ish, another gas. We have so much gas in this place. Another gas. And a small tropical place. We have titanium and hyperium on this area. So this would be a very good mining zone, which I'm gonna get right away. Because I immediately want both titanium and hyperium in the empire. So we're sending our little expedition probe going into there. And we're there. Now it's a small, small outpost. I need to change that name to get a chance. And we're going to pay dust to accelerate this. So that just means the next research I'm going to uh, gather is going to be uh, xenobiology for the titanium, and we already have access to Hyperion in research as well. That's just one of the faction traits we as well for our starting line. So we want to do that immediately to gain our gains, because these will be used rapidly down the road. So we're already gaining gaining the Hyperion, so we see we have two per turn being excavated. Um, also, we gain, for the Hyperion being here, we gain one science per planet and one uh, industry for the titanium. So, very nice gas. I'm not going to run too much. So, we have H going up there. So, that's, we have two systems out of the five that we can maintain before we start getting penalties. But we're going to kind of ignore that a little bit with our um, overall. How did Trumpet turn out? Uh, we beat it. We got a giant laser. Uh, we beat the enemy. Kind of, I kind of did everything I wanted to do from there, so I didn't want to just stutter out till the end of it. So we're gonna play a new game. I want to see what you guys kind of think of it, um, and I'm just gonna kind of move on to the next one a little bit. My little smorgasbord of meals I have for you guys today. So since you're back, I'll let you take a pick on what we're gonna do here. So it's like a knife through your heart. You joke hardly, you say, knowing the surrender never jokes. He shakes his head. The weapon signature leaves no doubt. You stare out into the starfield, anger growing. A, uni a united empire fleet fired up upon by a fellow UE vessel of obs obsolete design. How old? Twenty-five solar cycles at least, your imperial majesty. We think there must be an outpost out there somewhere. The knife twists. There is no reactionary. This is no reactionary rebellion. This is something fermented decades ago, meticulously planned, kept hidden with a military-like focus. If you would possess the courage, the resources, the sheer iron will to see through such an undertaking, who would do such a thing? You thought the uprisings were a thing of the past, crushed forever when you disposed of Duke 
Antonov and finally united the Empire all those years ago. <sighs> Your heart chills. Could Lena, bitterly ungrateful Lena, have hated such a diabolical plot? Well, maybe it was Hadri, so-called first protector. Hadri linked Lenko so near and so, yet so far from the seat of power. Or perhaps it was Petra Manzuki, Minzuk, she who could trace her line to the great Minzuk clans who lusted over bare power. No, no, no. This way lies madness. They are loyal subjects. I will find the perpetrator slowly, meticulously. You cling to the thought, a lifeline of, in an ocean of dark musings. <laughs> he coughs. What is your command, your Imperial Majesty? So, do we want to do we want to use a military, a economic, or an industrial, or a scientific approach to this? Now we do get bonuses off of this, but I want to tell a story. I don't want to see what the re what the rewards are. We are the Emperor. We are building our own United Empire. We finally secured it. The people have done. This is basically tr Tropico, several thousand years in the future. Our guy has somehow made it past that. And how do we want to solve this problem? Do we want to build up a large army and show them that we're not afraid of them? Do we want to bribe them, stockpile 6,000 dust, and then pay them off? Or do we want to use a scientific approach? We want to try to figure out where they are, locate them. Uh, so what do we want to do, chat? Uh, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it up. Leave it up to you at this, at this point. I need to figure out how to do a straw poll later on down the road to figure out how that works. See how that works out as well. Hmm. Like a professional, I'm actually going to turn off my phone. Intimidate? Sure. We will. Yes. Intimidate. That's a, that's a good idea. I mean, we have the economics, but we're going to back down. The moral response, the effective response, is to turn to violence. Or at least it's threat. We will grow our glorious armies. March across the stars, and then the enemy will know we come for them. So we're gonna reach 288 manpower, manpower stockpile, stockpile in our empire, and the reward I'm gonna leave that as a surprise. So let's go to our um, to our infantry. We're gaining six manpower per turn. We needed to stock up to 2100. So after xenology, let's go over to our uh, oh, actually, let me show you another thing I know we can do. So. We have population, but we have another thing we can do. We can use our exotic rations to convert one of our population into 300 manpower. And we're going to do that before we get a settler. That way we can quickly rise the problem there. I've never heard this game. How, how, how is it? I'm liking it so far. I'm playing the alpha right now, and I'm kind of getting a, a feel for it. It's still early development, but they've gone on long enough. So we're, you can get a good feel of it. I played all the other series. I'm a big uh, endless fan series. I'm kind of playing this game out. If you want to see me play it again, just let me know. And I'll continue on with it. I'm kind of doing like a big old like stockpile of games that I'm playing on here. I like playing these games. If you like it as well, just let me know. I'll keep bringing more of them. Um, it's a thinker. I like the amount of control you have over it. You have to have more focused production on you can't do everything this game is a lot more based upon and you'll see we just lost our population there because uh we converted it all into our own uh, uh, manpower so we're just going to here and you'll see that oh wait we're doing that right now okay population lost construction we did spin projects now that spin project is this population here is not going to be specialized to give us even more influence based upon our person. And remember, we want influence because of our factions unique trait. So, this embassy will allow us to unlock more heroes and our national museum, which will gain more influence whenever we have it. So, you see what we're kind of doing with this? Just rushing influence on that. We're gaining even more of our Hyperium. Going through, we have two per turn. Now, we have achieved it. Victory. Without even a single weapon fired in anger, barking at the built up your, your military forces, the rebels surrendered their fleet. Although their ships were too archaic to be useful, they have developed an interesting new technology. The biggest shock, however, 
was the identity of the rebel leader. Your sister, Leonard, wasn't blessed with only one child, Victoria. She had another, an identical twin, Jula Linka. So we gained, um, engine al algos. So applying a rebel thinking to the power of routing the algorithms of the starship engines can lead to energy surpluses at critical moments. It says interesting reputation for the strength of weapon systems. Okay. So, alright, so that was the first part of it. Now, <sighs> Jolinka, the traitor, refuses to speak. She is too young to be the true master behind, master behind behind the rebellion. But of that individual's identity, there is no clue. You, will have, you have no sanction to sanction any violence against your sister's blood. So she lavishes in solitary confinement in the deepest depths of your inquiry and preserves her doubt. Luna claims to have never laid eyes upon the girl. She claims she must have been rustled, rustled away at birth and raised by those who plotted against the empire. Of her twin, Victoria, there is no sign. The girl walked around as soon as she heard news she was a lone child. Out of shock or something more, you do not know. You need time to untangle this dark web. The rebellion may be no more one. The fact it ever existed in the first place for months or days and disturbs your nights. Who can you really trust? Each, every day, you grow a little older. You get a little closer to the day you will no longer be able to live in this great empire. You decide now it is the time to name the Emperor Alex. Consolidate your power while you still have it. The candidates are obvious. First protector, Hundry Linko, stored bodyguard for so many years, and a hero amongst the Empire Hawks. Lina Zokabes, your own flesh and blood sister, a woman who, despite her smoldering anger, an iron danger, they keep a Zokabes on the throne. Should we protect us, men, and so the great head of advanced research? A woman who pioneered several chilling, chilling technologies who would transform your armies' fortunes. Someone who could grasp your opportunities in this new Starfaring era. The choice is not easy. Peace of mind is hard to find. Until you find the identity of the rebel ringleader, though, you will have no real peace. It could be one of them. But you must choose. So, do we want our the first protector? Do we want the... Um, the industrialists are on blood, or do we want the in, uh, the, uh, the scientists who's made like revolutionary changes? So once once again, chat. I'm gonna leave it up to you. This will these are gonna have us unique heroes. I'll like I'll hover over them for you. I guess actually I can't actually see what they do, but we're gonna get these people to start an empire. So once again, who should we go with? Should we go with the protector for the military? Should we go for Lena with the industrialization? Or should we go with Petra for the scientific achievements? So, so while, you're, while, you're just, while you're deciding that, I'm going to take out the real quick and keep playing on the turn. And the is going to be going there. And here we're working on that. Also, we have a little going off here at this time. So I'm going to do the gas jack because I don't care about this too much. And more dark glitter over here. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna explore a bit. Uh, well, I think the simple show they do. I know, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you in the chat kind of choose what, what you want for them. So we're kind of telling a story here. Do I want? I'm threatened. The I'm getting old, and I need someone else to rule the empire just for what I, for what I want. And what do we want for our future? We've all we've consolidated the power. What do we want for it? Do we want to have a first protector take over the throne when we're done? Do we want to have our flesh and blood Lina take over? Or do we want to have uh, Petra, the scientific achiever? Cheers. Who do we want to be our heir? Now, I'm assuming the other two aren't going to like us too much for it, but we'll decide on that when it comes. So, uh, I'm going to let I'm gonna let you decide what we do. Yes. Honestly, that's why I like playing on Twitch so much is I like P Petra? Alright. Oh, wait. Is that was that Petra or is that a smiley face? I can't really tell. I, I Yeah, because 
Gotcha. Okay. All right. So we'll go with the scientific approach. Yeah, we have the we have the military. We have the industry. Let's go for a bit of science. We can do with that. So, but that's the reason I like doing Twitch so much is because I really I want to play this game with you. I like streaming with it. I like building the story with you guys, and then you have you guys influence what we do. So, all right. So Petra. So it means the world for me, you guys, to be there. So. We're going to produce at least 25 science per turn in our empire, and then we'll gain this hero. So, only Petra can truly do the empire justice as she travels the stars. The scientists, ruthless leader, and not one to shy away from her hard decisions, you will strengthen the empire's science base to honor her naming. Alright. So, now that to get a bit more of the science going into here, so... It's going to influence the factions a little bit. Uh, we have Max going for here, so let's do a bit more discovery. I want to find another planet, go over, and we'll have to get a bit more science research in the future. And empire-wise, how much do we have? We gain. Where is it? We gain 20 science per turn, so we'll have to increase that by five and a half. Oh! New minor civilization discovered, Amoeba. So they're pacifist. Um, they. One empire decay rate on minor. Uh, plus 20% percent original relation. <laughs> Man, Frank. <sighs> it's been a long day. I need coffee in one hand and a monster in the other. <sighs> so, plus 20 initial relationship bonus penalty with minor civilization. Uh, wow. Sure. Okay. Plus 10 uh, plus for peace with Empire, plus 20 for Alliance on Empire. And another unknown trait, because we haven't discovered it yet. So now we don't have <laughs> we don't have any we need xenobiology to even talk to these people. Or we can just fight them right away. But we don't have the military forces for that right now. So we got some discovery, so I'm gonna keep moving on. This time. Now early on, we don't want to do what I did with the population, because population is just rapidly important for your people early on and kind of debauched them. I botched that a little bit, I'm sorry, but I want to get that right away. Oh, our hero's leveled up. So, we're going to go to our hero. And we're going to inspect him. So, okay, level up. So, now we get to level up a point for him, but I like going early, um, here? Yep. Yeah. I want to get plus one food, plus one production per person on the planet, because early game food and production is really important. More, moreover than the influence. Uh, just because for person we want our system to grow more rapidly. And more importantly, I don't think this is going to be our starting system. We are not finding any good systems starting up. Oh, also, I'm going to go to ships real quick and see what was the technology. Sensor. Huh. High plating. Oh, string grab engines. Misc shielding. Yeah, I, sensor. I think the engines were what we gained for it. No? I don't know. We gained step technology for it, but I'm not too sure what it, what it was, unfortunately. Um. So, is it, wait, xenology. Oh, okay. Xenology, not xenology. I was like, I have not, what am I doing that? I don't want peace. We have a server being built. Um, the academy can get us more heroes. We're getting one ourselves. Uh, the Empire is content right now. So let's go for. Uh, oh! Uh, Cerebrum Reality. We'll, we'll get, let's get that so we can increase the science output, which will give us our hero faster. Um, what's going on with the stars? Trying to explore the galaxy again. Uh oh. We have pirates coming in. Reavers. Um, these are the early game pirates that are going to attack us and cost us quite a bit of our manpower. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. We have a small colonizable Terran. We have dark litter and multiple moons. Good resources overall. And a tiny forest. Really small, but. Yeah! For the short term. Yes, 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 and we have another, uh, okay, kind of with the spiral head we have out here, this is going to be kind of the way we're getting out of here, so absolutely we're coming here. So we have our settler area, we're going to have them go 
settler. We're gonna have them go here immediately. So I want to immediately start expanding in this area. We can have them come this turn, actually. Settler and colonize. Um I'll get the most food first, but it looks like the forest will be more beneficial. Also, we're gonna gain uh, titanium and hyperium off the get-go. Plus, remember, the hyperium itself, we get uh, one food per person. Now, I'm gonna use... Oh. Damn. I wanna use the influence to get it building faster, but we have just enough uh, influence right now. Nope. Damn it. God, I pushed. Oh, I pushed the next move button. So, what I wanted to do with our laws is I wanted to pass the rare, the rare minerals due to relief. Oh, we need 250. Never mind. I knew exactly what I was doing. I. <laughs> so now we're gonna have titanium uh, being extracted from the places, and we'll have our Xeno industrial structure, which will give us even more production, increase our political impact with the industrialists. And give us even more influence. Now, research wise, I, I'm looking at all this. I think we want to get um, swamp, jungle, snow, steps. Ah, let's see, we're gonna take a more military approach to this. Dust, this is gonna be more passive, and I'm gonna do that. Dust isn't really important for our empire because we just we use influence for everything. Um, for food for level, I think, let's go for the bionics, uh, scanning, so, well, we're not gonna do too much right now. Mm, do we wanna go for food right now, or we wanna go for the science to get that hero faster? I know we will eventually, but the sooner we get the hero, the faster they level up, the faster we get the bonuses off of them, and the faster we can explore our, uh, play lifetime. Now, if we do, um, we're probably gonna go for... Uh, let's see, this is one, plus one science per person. When I say this, I am talking to you, chat, so just let me know what you want to do. So, plus one food per person, on cold, plus just a flat five, and on the veld. This one, oh, this is a upgrade for this, oh, for the individual system, which will replace our spin, which you don't want to do. So we're probably, if we do, we're probably going to go for the magnetic, magnetic generators. In the future... Uh, but supermarket it was more influence uh, the econo the uh, e ecologist. I'm not gonna do very much with them. I'm actually gonna, especially with our empire, we're gonna downplay the um, all the environmentalists in our place. But I think we're going to go with this just because we're, I want more food. Oh wait, plus three food per original population on original empire population. Oh. Okay, 20, flat 25 versus this one, just plus 5, flat. Okay, so let's go for this one over here, I think, because I want the supermarkets for people to be more happy with us, and we'll get more food overall, just so we can grow quicker, because I kind of did eat a bit of our population. I apologize. Um, also, now that I know how much we need, I'm probably going to spend this just because... much? It was or 50 food from this place, and this has... Not enough. We have to grow this, these guys as well. So uh, I think we're just gonna leave it as is. How much system population growth? Plus, ooh, never mind. Never mind. They're not growing themselves. So we, getting any more over is not gonna help us too much. System colonized on Esh. Very good. Let's go over and manage this. One thing I do want to do all the time for these guys: drone network is cheap, it's affordable, and it's right there. As well as I want the reality being built. Spin, which is, is just going to go up right at that, and then I'm going to leave these guys alone. Because they're on their own over there, it's not going to grow too much. I just wanted them out there to be in another area. You'll see the uh, red out there is their own. Your, our, um, our base manpower is going to be eaten up because they're going to start stock, stockpiling this area. So that's kind of why I want to eat the population quickly because I, last time I played these guys a little bit, I just expanded rapidly and I didn't ever have a military population. so. The enemy would come in, they would look they would look down at our system, shoot us once, and be taken over. It was not fun. Um So let's just get a more um academy, get some more heroes, or just uh, that could be happy for a while with us. Plus uh, plus twenty approval, plus five, and we'll 
for some of the planets. I think in the long run this is worth it, but let's get uh, let's get our um, our infrastructure going up now. I just want to rapidly build up our production because that's what gives us uh, more influence, which gives us more everything else. And so then again, the more influence we have, the more we can do with everything in our empire. Um, oh, and the academy has been discovered by an unknown empire, which means we can get it, unfortunately. They are. Would've been nice to have, but oh, hello, uh, so fun. So they're rapidly expanding. So they're probably coming into our system. Yep. We can see their ships there. They have the detector versus our patrol ship. So I'm gonna kind of move down here a little bit just to see what more we can find out there for it. expansion opportunities. Now we should be getting fairly close to having at least 25 population. Oh! What are they doing? They're bare. Why are they blockading us? Yeah, they're yeah, they're they're blockading the system. Wow! It is medicine! See? That's why you can't trust an alien. Aliens will stab you in the back. Alright. Oh, here comes our political survey coming up. So this just shows that um, because of our, our actions, we've done a lot more industrial actions instead of military. So our industrial community is growing, uh, has grown a little bit, and our militaries have decreased. We'll see in the future what that brings, but soon we're going to have a debate, and then we'll just see what the new like, governing body is, which will affect the rules, and regulations, and all that. Now, I'm going to avoid doing any discoveries over here on Ish, because it's going to be kind of one of our main building areas, and there's nothing over here in Geshe. Now, I'm curious, though. We get... So, we get plus two science. We get plus one science for each person on the planet with whom we have this. Oh, we get one production for the Titan. Yep, I remember that. Now. Drone number just built. Several relays being built over there as well. Let's we'll see that. Wow! Production, Hyperdium, Hyperium, Colonizable, Monsoon Area, uh, Gas, yeah, we have more of that, more Gas, and Colonizable Belt, I think we just found the seed of our empire, that is ours, yes, we have both Hyperium, Titanium, we also have Jade which, uh, I don't know what that is, but, I don't know, whatever it is I wanted, so, let's continue our research here, and, I want to get over there. Now, I'm going to build um, a castle law in our empire where we have high economic standing. I want to get plus 50% production on all of our systems. This law is universal, it's absolute, and I want it now. There we go. Now it's enacted. So, now our, all of our systems get 75% boost because of our pulses. Um, so, after we do our infrastructure here, I'm. Whoop! Whoop! Okay. I'm really glad I didn't build this here because we're gonna have much better effect on the other area. Um, so now I want a settler ship immediately. Just I, I actually I want uh, two of them immediately to get over to um, Nis and take care of it. Also, Nis is in the way back. It's protected because this is gonna be our choke point to the other other nations, the other empires, and I want to get out of here. Now, this is going to be our Imperial seat, our faction hometown, so our system, so we don't want to let it go, but <laughs> this is going to be our real place. The Empire has found a new home for itself. And I will spend influence, I will spend whatever I have to spend to make sure that place just gets up and standing. Now, the, ac now the Academy has increased, uh, so all heroes we get recruited will start level 2. Uh, our own hero is leveled up as well. He's getting experience each turn because of his duties, when he builds stuff, or, um, and passing while he's managing the system, he levels up. So, another thing I want to do for him, let's do another food and production. Go in here, and once we get done, like, settling into Nis, we're gonna move him over there. So 
so I'm like, let's just move our ship as well. This, this game is being good to me. Um, yeah, take off your, your uh, spin protocol immediately and start building me more settler ships because... Wow, that is great. Let's go to our technology screen and let's start... Okay, did we get stuff right here? Yep, defenses, allies, weapons, all two, era two. I'm going to hold off on the weapons for now for our guns, because I want to hold off for a little bit later on. Because um, I do want to get snow steps. I'm going to get all our colonization, because that's the main focus of what we do. But I'm so happy. <laughs> so let's get our um, two hy uh, hyper capers, fluid nandrones. Um, also, can we talk diplomatically with these guys? So. We have no know who this faction is, but let's talk to you guys. And my terms, Empire Dust, declare war, open closed borders, and Venus. I think we can trade with them later on for sciences that we don't get ourselves. And these guys are master scientists, so they will continue to get themselves this game to us. Huh? Oh, one population. I forgot the human existed. I was just so happy to see all these colonized planets. I'm just dumping for joy right now. Settler, settler, real quick. For the settler, let's edit our settler. Uh, colonization module. Can we get more? Yeah, there we go. Let's get another engine. Fly design. And so now all of our settler ships are going to be upgraded to have faster engines. Just I. Yep. Oh, there we go. So let's get a settler 2. We're going to click this ship. We're going to pay a decent amount of uh, dust to upgrade that. Um, let's get a supermarket on this planet just so it likes us more. Wait. Okay. Our settler ship is now complete. Uh, over here, remove your settler ships and we're going to build settler 2s just because of increased movement range. And we're going to create this settler ship and then have it move to Miss Eam. So you'll see how fast it moves. Our ships are pretty slow right now. You can research technology to make them faster themselves. But we're just, all we're doing, we're loading up all of our people, putting up my ship, giving us as many engines as possible, as possible just going, to go, please, flee. Oh, I'm so happy. This, this is going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Um, you're going here. I don't want to research anything here because I don't want to mess anything up. Let's go over to... Our this gas area over here, but I'm gonna mess with for a long time. I'm trying to see if we can discover anything over there. I don't want to do anything on these areas because I don't want to mess it up yet. I'm gonna get better scanning technology and all that. Alright, we got increased research. Uh, now I think. Yep, 49. So at the end of this turn, we're gonna have our new hero. I'm glad to see that one. And we'll have our next chain in uh, the events. Let's look at that. Alright, continue on. Another solo ship is being put out. Oh, here's our election. Um, the militaries are getting a bit. So, from the last time we had this, the industrialists have lost a bit of their influence and the militaries have gained a bit. But we're going to have our official support behind the industrialists at this time. And because um, of how we're our system is every every individual gets an election off that you can see the empire we have right now and the books they have but the, indu the industrial stay in power the militarists are right behind them i like i think with how we're doing story-wise i like to get the scientists in there a little bit more themselves um yep here is our next settler ship we're gonna have them rapidly go here in this as well 
have all the ships move as fast as I can. So that's two for that. We have we have another one being built over an ish. And Hath is building its own supermarket right there, so we make them more happy. Um, we're gonna lose a bit of dust, I wanna watch that later on as well. So we have the image supermarkets coming out. Keep playing on right now. Early game with this in here we were pushing the enter button fairly rapidly, but later on we're gonna to expand it a little bit. Oh, official research, so we can now colonize steps in snow. And we're next we're going to work on jungle and swamp. Now does that affect anything around where we are? Subtle? I don't think so. The early upgrades you get for the scientists like types are fairly rare. So uh, let's see, what do we want to settle first? Um essentially whoever has more food food is a more tempting target. And so we have green here, which means an extra three production per person on this planet. Large. Oh. We have an extra titanium, extra hyperium, and we have a negative one over here. So, negative one food, negative one ooh, science person on the planet, negative 20 appeal. Oh. But we have our own unique resource, which gives us plus 20 appeal, so it kind of balances itself out. Okay. So, this one, I want you immediately to start being worked on. We don't have the dust to work on this. There are no adjacent colonizable stars, so I just want. We're just gonna have that worked on immediately. Oh! Oh! Uh oh. I need to stop uh, production then. Because apparently, you can only have um, one colon colonizable thing per time. Uh oh. Uh, stop production. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh, let it. Uh, I'm glad we noticed that. Um, colonize, let's get our spin project going on there now. Turn off the settler. Unfortunately, you will lose science on there. I'm kind of sad that it doesn't just. Switch it over. Um, wait, is the supermarket a one time thing? Uh, system increase. It's not, it doesn't say unique. I don't know why the other planet can't make it yet. Projects, uh, markets. I hope it's not a system unique. System improvement approval. 20... Huh. Yeah, I mean, the the, cult, the cultivation is unique. Only have a one for empire, but I don't know about the other one. Oh, well. And here is our scientist, I think, because of all the science we have right now. Oh, he's old again, because we're building the thing rapidly where he is. Uh, more science. Let's get more approval per person on the system. Just to build our borders. Production, the infinity supermarkets have been built. Um, National Museum. We'll do the National Museum. For now. Oh! Did I not just scroll up or something? Interplanetary, then we'll do the National Museum. I don't want to do the unique ones because I want them all done down here where this is. I would be remiss to lose that. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry. I apologize. So, uh, for here, let's go with. I want to go with the one that has the most food. Plus one, science, plus science, plus dust. Population slot, but that's a large one. Let's go with the large one just because it's large itself. Plus, we have, a, we have two moons, so we have another population slot going. This will be the largest possible population we have. I mean, yeah, look at that. Absorb 50% production from adjacent colonized star systems. Um, no, we're fine. We'll keep our influence growing itself. Just gonna do the spin for here. Yeah, okay, here we are. And then the, the supermarkets for the approval. Because, considering we're expanding this rapidly, our people are going to start not liking us as much. And once that happens. Spin project, supermarkets. Use equipment to turn in your empire. 
Is that right? Is it... I don't know, is it our home place that has to get that? I hope not. Give it to me. I really hope not. Um, also, with our, our unique trait, we can also buy out the um, technology needed. Also, let's move my head a little bit just so you can guys can, you know, see what I'm seeing. There we go. I apologize about that. Again. Oh, we have reverse coming in. We don't need really this. That's going to be bad for us. We might want to start building up the fleet. Um, my ship. Oh, here it is. Right here. Um, we mentioned earlier about increasing standing with scientists, so we're going to keep using the probes. Let's get this. We're just going to mine out these areas, essentially. Oh, or Hyperium. Oh, we have a new, uh, oh. Military militants. A threat of discontent has been growing in the population, so some vultures believe the galaxy is no more dangerous than it appears. You are under pressure to turn your politics and investments to more military usage. So, militarism. Increase militarist political ideology. Okay, so, and let's do the burning glass. So, yeah, so here. Uh, oh, plus 50 science. Nice. Uh, send a fleet to the quest marker. We get titanium in this. And our turn there. Um, okay. National Museum with our happy, which. We can end. Oh! Here we go! Air Rebellion Part 2 completes. Produce at least 25 science for return to the Empire. And we get our hero. People's reaction to Petra's naming as Emperor Elect is muted. We will need to prove that she is a deserving choice over the, over the coming years. Alright. Alright, looking at the future, excavating the past, part one. The trail runs cold. Joka rots in a cell silently. Nobody knows anything about the ancient rebellion, or nothing to admit to, they're prepared to admit at least. The knowledge eats away at you, day after day after day. You torture yourself, knowing how many countless thousands of patriots it must have taken to enact such a betrayal. Hidden shipyards, empire funds siphoned off to official accounts. Redacted records, doubled lives. Some of the snakes must be among the masses here in Raya, lying over and over preserve their skins. What do you need to search every lead yourself to know the truth? Who can you trust in? You try to put the matter under mine, and instead think of the millions of people of true patriots. Now the matter of Emperor Elect has been settled, it's time to turn your attention to their future and your legacy. What course should the great United Empire be sent on before your rule ends? Should you heed the warnings of the warmongers in your ranks, empathize to shut his name and militarize? Did you hawk back the earlier age of scientific invention when your men's rising forebears sailed the great darkness? Perhaps you should stay the course, but the United Nation will fulfill its true potential as an industrial powerhouse. This may not be necessary to your final legacy, but you should give Empire a taste of the future no less. So, clone lasers are the one we get here. Uh, nope, I should probably not actually look at the resources, so we could win six battles for the military. Could um, have at least three systems of level two or higher, or we could settle on every climate type, gas type not required. So these are kind of late game ideologies, except for this one. The six battles is pretty quick. Three systems of at least second level or higher, so have to be second age, like the second era to do that, and settle on every planet of every climate type. It's gonna be pretty late, probably like third era to get there. 
So I'll leave it up to you once again, chat where we want to go. Do we want to go for a militarist approach, do we want to go for an industrial approach, or the scientific approach, I guess. I'll leave it up to you in the chat there, just let me know what we should do. And then I'm going to continue on with this one. So, they are happy right now. Picture of approval, but five for population, 20 for supermarkets. What I'm going to do right now is just get another law enacted that I really like. While we have it. So, uh, not to discuss. We're going to do the Safe Skies build. This will give us plus 25 approval on systems with one of our fleets in orbits. Oh, I need another uh, law act, sorry. Intimate citizens, intimate candidates for like what do you do in the election. Oh, here is our leader, leader management. She's also a seeker, she's a scientist. So let's assign her if we can. We can't do it in this yet. Let's wait for that to come up. But once we do, we're gonna put her over there. She's level five. Wow. It'll take a few turns for her to get settled in. It'll take us three turns to get over there, and she will be come over there. I want I still want her to level up. So we'll put her over on Esh for the moment. I have her level up. And let's inspect her. So, plus one influence, food production. She's pretty much the same as the other one, minus she has seeker based skills. Versus her other guy who. Versus. He's a counselor and she's a seeker. Is the only real difference on that. So, let's inspect. We can do this. So, plus 10 science on cold. Uh, plus double division range for ships. So once again, I want to get more food and industry going off there. Uh, influence is great. And um, I guess... Oh, not enough experience to go with the expedition yet. Have those go off. There, and we'll have her over on Esh for now, and then we'll move her over to Nis afterwards. So our next colonization queue... Let's um, enact more movement, more probes, and support modules. Let's get our basic ships up and running, just so we can get more of a war effort moving forward here. Um, send a fleet request marker. Choice-wise, um, let's see. Humili humiliating neuroscience, who's Yuri. Turns out it's something should in the world's Play obviously bear self, food pranks, wildlife addition, plus sites, gold mine for scientists, stating the most powerful emotion. Sci fi prototyping, system design, sandwich world content, system sci fi technology, or we could have coiled lasers. Um, I think we're already going with the scientists already. Let's really go for the industry. Industry. I don't really care about humiliating yourself. Let's go with the uh, industry right now. And you, you're just stay over there. I keep uh, this here, please. I'm losing quite a lot of dust right now. I'm gonna look at the future going forward. Okay, just being bored already. More industry, more industry, please. Um, and once we get three turns for our shielding, because we have hopefully decent science up right now. Go markets, Zeno, we up. This, um, I'm gonna increase your food immediately. For ten turns, you get seven turns left on there. I, I want to give that running up immediately. That's gonna be our, like I said, our haven. Once for Empire, once for Empire, once for Empire. Oh, no, 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 not, not that, not that. I guess I have to leave this for now. I don't want to get too many more on this era. And I don't want to overwhelm the ships, so we're just going to do nothing for now. Here, what I will do though is I'll pay some influence to speed up a lot of this research here. Just so I can probably even get to the next era. 
So we're going to have to shift immediately. We can start building those right away. Um, and we're close enough to the next era that I won't worry about these modules yet. Plus 20% of Empire. Stock. Created. We are kind of running low on dust in time. Luxury and resources. Dust immediately to build stuff. Plus 25% of system level. Let's go with asset financing for now. We can't buy that away immediately. So if you think about it, we're using both science and influence at the same time to advance our research. So you guys, let's go in to our fleets. I'm just gonna delete these themselves. Create. Um, let's go for here a small uh, how many what, we have two weapons, and so first of all, we, need, we have an engine right there. Of the modules, I like a good balance of torpedoes, because they have long range and medium afterwards. So we'll have put torpedoes here, shot at there, and then get, um, we're gonna laser, because it, it's optimal for long and medium, falls off the short. Shields definitely uh, reduce it. Forward. So, shields. Yeah. Shield values is kind of what counters the laser. So, we're going to put that up ourselves. And that's our design. Image ship is empty. So, we're just going to do. Uh, this will be our enforcer. Enforcer Mark 1. A lot of money right now, but eh, it's no biggie. We'll just, you know, but we'll work on it. We're just gonna go off. He's gonna give us plenty of influence going forward. Ouch. All right, and we have a parts down there bothering us, unfortunately. Minus 50 for all the uh, upkeeps for our system. It is a downside of rapidly expanding like we are. Because each one of these systems would cost us quite a bit of money, unfortunately. National finance is only going to be quite a few turns away. We'll have to rush it once we get a chance. Did I end the turn? Oh. Maybe I did. Hmm. Also, I should be using our uh, ship over here to. Uh, yep, it's got full probes. We should be using our ship over here to uh, trap more probes. Yep, now we're in the negative, so if, we're, if we get lucky, I can find more dust doing this. Uh, research loot. Oh! Reveals all the hidden isolation. I said no, it's a constellation. I actually don't know what that does. Another hidden areas? Oh, more more research. So, Astro Finances, we're gonna learn. I, let's get the turn for that. I don't have enough influence to fast forward it, but learn a lot more off that. Let's go. Not there, not there. I don't go. I guess we'll go here. See what that is. Path is being moved forward. We have a pair of enforcers being moved. Um, negative penalty for dust. Oh! Empire bankrupt next turn. <laughs> your empire experiences uh, expenses on dust exceed your stock. A series of budget cuts will happen next turn if you do not correct the situation. So we're going to have to cut up a few things, I guess, into we'll the Astro Finances and play. Uh, so I don't know what I don't know what's going to happen with this. We'll see. I've got a bunch of cuts we're going to have to connect. Okay, powers increase. So we'll be for what we search. He's down level five. Oh, uh, I'm part bankrupt. So. Oh, they're gonna, it's gonna be a sign of her because she's so expensive. Huh? Eh? Oh, the ships, the the pirates are gonna attack us, our patrol. Uh, run! Run, 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 run! Uh, also, I was gonna worry about that as well. Um, respect to you. And we're gonna have you just do more influence, please. Thank you. She is going to be unassigned just because of how expensive she is. Alright, we got one enforcer built. 
in the next one. I, I want, uh, you know, economics this turn, if you so kind. We're just rapidly forward it. We need two more to advance to our next period. Um, let's see, removal for all ships, probes, curiosity. Um, let's do the uh, bike shield. Make it less research more, like, like detect more curiosities, get more spend possibilities, and more improvements on all of our ships. Oh, up here is what we got. Uh, so we have plus 10 damage. Empire improvement. Okay, it's plus 10 damage on all ships. Oh. Okay. Um, also, I said I didn't want to do Xeno, like, diplomacy with minor factions, but this on our, like, our big monsoon areas are going to be really handy. So, uh, cancel what you're doing there, buddy. And, uh, oh. So I guess Colonial, like, yep, it's on private, get that. So, let's do this here. In fact, let's do this on all the planets that can build it. There we go. On all two planets that can build it. And I'm going to just... Can I expand it? Oh. So once these guys arrive, I'm just going to disband our control ships for now. It's just not showing us. Bending, bending, bending. Yeah, I think it just... I think we're negative as much, it just doesn't show us that. Okay, um... Oh! Can I get him? First of all, welcome. We have our people there. They're content. Uh, maximum power is coming up. So first of all, I don't think passive is going to power, but uh, we need money, and we have luxury deposits. So two of these. So plus three per person with luxury deposits. We'll build this immediately on here. Uh, then after that, we'll forest and planetary. That would be in. Our industrials factors as well. Grown right after that. Okay. Those are being built as well. The force of being our second force is active. Not yet. Should be moving on there. We have a lot of Hyperion, a lot of titanium in the galaxy right now. We'll definitely use those in the coming ages. Forcer has been completed. Ooh, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that. So, I think I'm just going to leave it like it is for now. We're in the negatives, unfortunately. So, select all. Wait. Create these two, select all, and merge them. Which is this one fleet. And let's go find those pirates. I don't see them out there. I'm going to stop terrorizing our colonies. So for now, let's go over here. Here. Uh, you can also see, we can see this place over here because our, um... Actually, I don't know why we can see over there. Here are our radars. Oh, idle systems. Oh, yeah, I don't want you guys doing anything, actually. <laughs> I don't want you guys... I want the spin project to continue going on. So, I guess... I don't want them doing the enforcers of that, so this is end turn, I guess. I don't want them building anything right now. Just stay idle. Just stay idle, keep keep eating, keep being happy. Oh! This this is done. Manage. 
Andrew Governor. Assign there. And I want you to immediately start working on incentive culture. I can't pay for that. It's going to take us 16 turns to get there. But I want it immediately for this place to start just rising up, just making more money. Then we'll get the, um, get the drones, we'll get the bionics. There we go. That's what we can do right here. Hoth, you guys, just stay with it, please. Once we get to the next era, we can start making these guys automatically make us dust and money. I know. Just working on that. We could just invade these guys. Appropriate them into the Empire. I think we can do a quick job of that. We might have to. I might have to go to half and just turn off some of their improvements. I want to scrap it, no. Um, it's a little cost of upkeeps. Four, four, four. Okay, so let's just take him off right now. There's our research going forward. Uh, population gate of Eva. They came over somehow. Let's do food. Uh, I don't like them being ecologists though. Now that's go. Uh, I'm actually going to purge that top civilization we have because I don't want those guys in our empire. Sorry. But um, I have two, uh, two factions already that I like. So plus 30 for titanium. Second expedition, the indicated quality. Sure. It's a good shot. Minus, wow, minus 100 health on ships and garrison for our only fleet. I might assume movement. Uh, movement. And, you guys. More lava. <laughs> more gas. More gas. More gas. Late game, we're gonna have so much gas in this place. So, um. See here, quest. Uh, we got 15 influence, those are loot. And 200 dust, yes, I'm glad to see that. Wait, it's about the battle. What? Is your ship the ship's ascent. Kingdom. Clouds of dust up on the planet's surface. A small warning lamp illuminates the communications station in your capital ship. Before you know it, you are receiving panic transmission from the face of the rest of your fleet. You are under attack from rocks? Neck. If anyone knows that, explosion makes your ship lurch, snapping you out of confusion. There is no time to contemplate. Battle is in full swing. Sure. Oh god. Uh, let's let's fight. Right. So our battle plan: we're going to stay back because of our missiles and long range weapons, and they're going to close in. Currently, battle is fairly even.
victory and almost no damage at all. I'm glad to see that. We did, we won, and we got 50 more titanium as our reward. So, alright. So this is just a small look at this the whole moment. Right, okay. For a second there I looked and I was like, why can't we colonize all four of them? But no, that's only two. So that's a small look at our in our Endless Legends game. Um if you guys like it, let me know let me know on YouTube in the comments down below. I'll read it on Twitch. Uh, I'll, I'll be back if you guys want more of it, so I will I'll continue this game if you guys want me to. If not, well we have I I have a lot of games to play for anyway, so let me know regardless. But I am Lichus and thank you for dining me dining with me today. Hope you enjoyed our meal. And I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same time frame. And I will see you then. So thank you very much, guys, for sticking with me. Your support means all the world to me. So have a good one, guys.